Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with our today's video. So our today's video is going to be very important because in this video, we are going to discuss which company is better. The reason for this video is that a lot of people are actually now switching jobs. Okay, so that is the reason they are going for companies like Wipro, TCS and Infosys. We receive a lot of comments in the comment section as well as in the Telegram group. If you have not joined the Telegram group yet, then the link is in the description box. You can go and join the group and you can ask your queries over there as well. So there is a community of IT professionals who will be answering your questions as well. Uh, coming back to our important point that is why we are making this video because a lot of people are actually trying to switch. Okay, so that is the reason they are targeting companies like Wipro, TCS and Infosys because they are comparatively much safer than the rest of the startup and other companies. Okay, you might have heard that a lot of Indian companies as well as the uh, foreign MNCs are firing employees. Okay, but if you look at the recent article that was published by TCS's official uh, partner, they have clearly mentioned that they are, they are going to hire more than 40,000 freshers in the financial year 2023-2024. Now, that is the reason that the IT market okay, as, or the IT industry rather is currently very strong. Why? Because TCS itself is planning to hire 40,000. This means that there is a prediction by TCS that they are going to get good projects and that is the reason they are going to hire more employees. Now, this is a good news for other companies as well. Why? Because Wipro and Infosys are similar to what TCS is doing. TCS although is the market leader and it has the majority of the share okay, in the IT industry. So guys, before moving forward, we have a small humble request that is Please like this video and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is very important guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any updates, any videos, any posts that we publish online. Okay. So coming back to the video. Okay. A lot of people who are currently working in small scale industries or mid scale industries like or maybe the startups. Okay. They are now planning to switch into service based IT companies such as Wipro, TCS and Infosys. There are simple reasons why because it is very safe. The second reason is that they will be getting on-site opportunities and they will be getting lead roles. Okay. For example, team lead, project manager, all this product owner, okay, all these kind of roles, such as architect and a lot of the of other roles, right? They will be getting opportunities to work with international clients as well and on-site opportunities on the top. Okay. So now coming back to the second point, that is which company is actually better when it comes to uh, IT service-based industry, Wipro, TCS or Infosys. So if you look at TCS, we have already mentioned that TCS is the market leader, right? So the, after that comes Infosys and then there is Wipro. Now there is a tough fight between Wipro and HCL, but since the brand value and if you look at the person of the company, Wipro is much better than what uh, it stands, where it stands, okay, compared to HCL. So that is the reason we are comparing these three companies, okay? Recently, uh, Wipro was in limelight because it fired a lot of employees, okay, under the moonlighting uh, umbrella. Along with that, it has also not given offer letters to the people who they promised for the turbo offer letter, right? So they were they were expected to give 6.5 LP offer letters, but what they did simply was to in order to reduce their losses and to increase the revenue and profit, what they did was they they had given offer letters for turbo, okay? But they what they did was they simply told the people that we will be giving you elite offers that is 3.5 LPA and not 6.5 LPA. Okay, so that is the reason there were a lot of negative statement or the negative emotions around Wipro in the market and their share price also crashed a lot. Okay, whereas if you look at TCS and Infosys, TCS not only uh, removed anyone or not only laid off anyone, but they also hired a lot when compared with other two companies. Okay, so that is the reason why TCS is a very strong bet if you're planning to switch to any of the three companies. The second important point is that TCS has a lot of projects that are being added on its into its umbrella. That is the reason why TCS is getting more and more and more pressures into its company. 40,000 is a huge number, especially in this recession times. Whereas if you look at Infosys, okay, recently the market, uh, the share market where the Infosys share is listed, it, it did not respond very well to the revenue and the profits of Infosys. The simple reason is that Infosys is a growth machine. Okay. So when you look at Infosys and TCS, TCS is half that of, uh, sorry, Infosys is half that of TCS, right? So that is the reason. There, is, there are a lot of growth chances for Infosys as a whole, okay, as a company. So that is the reason everyone is expecting TCS to grow like with two times that of face of TCS. So that is the reason why you will be getting good opportunities in Infosys as well. Onset opportunities in Infosys are greater than that of Info TCS. Okay, that is true. You will be getting onset opportunities for US, USA, uh, Europe, UK, okay, as a whole. And along with that, the best part about Infosys is that it is on a verge of 
uh, like disrupting through technologies okay if you look at the recent events or recent applications launched by infosys you will find that they are doing a lot of things in the ai and ml space they are also doing a lot of things in cloud native applications as well they are introducing uh, cloud technologies to their clients as well so that all is going on in infosys that is the reason why infosys is a very strong bet if you want to go and if you want to uh, like apply for the company or if you are planning to give an interview or if you are planning to join infosys this is the best thing okay now coming back to the lateral hiring okay a lot of people are actually making videos they are making posts that uh, all these three companies have stopped the lateral hiring that is not the case guys they are definitely hiring you can go on their career portal and you can directly apply okay and a lot of people are actually going for referrals as well that is also a very good option guys please make sure that you apply over different vacation vacant positions all these companies are hiring currently they are on a hiring spree okay so the only thing that you have to do is you have to improve your skills okay and along with that interviews as well so we are going to launch one a fantastic opportunity for all the people okay because a lot of people are struggling with their english their interview skills how to get a job and how you can actually improve yourself when it comes to verbal communication okay so we are going to plan a very fantastic program for that so stay tuned with us okay we will be soon disclosing entire uh, the curriculum and what are we, we are going to do in that program so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel you will be learning a lot from this program as well thank you so much for watching this video guys if you have any doubts please ask in the comment section or you can also join the telegram group that i mentioned about earlier the link is in the description you can go and join the group you can join and you can communicate you can interact with all the it professionals that are there in the group thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like this video